A or you don't purchase A, you purchase B or you don't purchase B. And let's say we have 10, 20, let's say 20 and 40, giving us marginal totals of 30, 60, gives us a total of 90 overall, giving us the column totals here of 30, uh, give us, gives us 60, which gives us 90 again. And now let's calculate the probability of B in this situation. Well, the probability of B is, is, is well, how many Bs are there? There's 30 Bs out of 90, so we have 30 over 90, okay? Which is the same as, well, 30 over 90 is the same as 1 third. You have a 1 in 3 chance of selecting B. What about if we give you some information, okay? Let's calculate what's the probability of B knowing that A has happened. Well, once again, we know that A has happened, so we know we're on this row here. Okay, or on this floor, the A floor. Now, what's the chances of selecting B? Okay, what's the chance of selecting B knowing that A has happened? Well, you have 10 chances out of 30. So we have 10 out of 30, which is the same as 1 in 3. So what we actually have in this situation here is this, is that the two probabilities, the probability of B, and also the probability of B knowing that A has happened, are equal to each other. Okay? So actually... What's really saying is this, is they're equal to each other. So with the extra information that was provided in this second probability, this extra information, yeah, it didn't change. It didn't change the probability of B from the situation where we hadn't got the extra information. Okay, just calculating the probability of B with no other information, we got the chances is 1 in 3. And in this situation here, calculating the probability of B where we got some extra information actually didn't change. It was still 1 in 3. So in that case, we have the first piece here. The probability of B is the same as the probability of B with the extra information. Well, there's no difference between them, so we say that in this situation here, that they're independent of each other, okay? Uh, and you could do this many different ways. You could calculate what's the probability, I suppose we calculate what's the probability of A given B prime. We could calculate what's the probability, let's actually do another one here. Let's say from this one here, uh, I don't know, let's see whether whether we calculate what's the probability, I'll do, you do this in blue, what's the probability of a happening, okay, well the probability of A happening is equal to, there's 40 chances out of 100, so you have 40 out of 100, which is 4 over 10, which is the same as you have 2 and 5 chances. And let's do, let's calculate this, what's the probability of A knowing that B prime has happened, okay, knowing that B prime has happened means that we're in this, we're in this particular column here. What's the chances of getting A? There's 30 out of 65, so you have 30 chances out of 65, uh, which gives us 30 divided by 65 is going to give us 6 chances in 13. So we have 6 chances in 13. And once again, you can see that these two probabilities are not equal to each other. In which case, once again, we have that A and B prime, A and B prime are dependent on each other. Let's do it over here in this situation. So once again, I'll use the blue pen here. So let's say the probability of A happening is, well, you have 30 chances out of 90, 30 out of 90, and we want to know what's the probability of A happening knowing that B prime has happened, okay? So B prime is down here, so, oops, 30 chances out of 90 gives us a, gives us a 1 in 3 chance, okay? Once again, we already calculated, well, now we did the B bit earlier. So what's the probability of A knowing that B prime has happened? Well, that gives us B prime has happened, so we're in this column here, and we've got 20 chances out of 60, so we have 20 out of 60, which gives us 1 in 3 again. Once again, we have this situation where we have equality between the probability of A and the probability of A, knowing that B has happened. And hence, in this situation here, we have independence. Yeah? So you can actually see the way within the multiplication rule, the reason why that there's two versions of the multiplication rule, to calculate the probability of A and B, uh, well, it depends on whether A has influenced B or whether B has influenced A, okay? Uh, so that's the reason why we have two versions of the multiplication rule. It's depending on whether the two events are independent of each other or depending on whether the events are dependent on each other. Okay, guys, uh, once again, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. And I hope that this video was in some way... Uh, intuitive and more importantly i hope that was actually helpful for you and thanks for watching okay bye bye